Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm out. I'm actually out here at uh, Ford Pro. This is Larry H. Miller. Yes, sir. And um, I'm actually going to be ordering a Ford today. What are we ordering? Dude? Ordering a bad boy Platinum. Platinum? F350. F350. We can't tell them what engine it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys got to guess can. that. But, yeah. Bad boy. Bad, bad boy. boy. You guys see this right here? Johnny P. Yes, sir. If you're looking to buy a truck, he orders all the trucks here. So we're going to order one from him today. And they don't even want to deposit. I mean, like, man, I was going to yeah. give them $1,000, but they're like, nah, we're good. I'm like, yeah. okay, cool. <laughs> yep. No deposit required. Just trying to, just trying to help y'all out. So. Yeah. <laughs> now, I will say it's going to probably take 12 months to get here. Uh, roughly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's going to take it a while to get here. To be honest, I mean, it, it, it is going to be a little bit of a wait, but. Yeah. It's gonna be worth a while. It's gonna be worth a while, yes. Yeah. So we have some time to get some more footage on this GMC. I'm actually headed to the Chevy store across the street. That's Larry H. Miller, mm -hmm. too, right? Yeah. And yeah. we're gonna see about maybe ordering. Yeah. We're gonna see about ordering a Chevy Silverado next, 3500. Yeah. And again, we'll let you guys know what engine we're gonna buy because it might be a gas, it might be a diesel. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, Alrighty, so he's just logged in. He's gonna put in my order right now, and um, hopefully it doesn't take 12 months. Hopefully it takes like eight months. Yeah. You know, hopefully we get it before the end of 2023. But then again, that gives me enough time to make some money too, because hopefully I can try to potentially pay cash for this one too. I don't know though, because if we're gonna go get a Chevy truck next, I'm gonna be poor after this, guys. I need you to subscribe now. It's, this is do or die now. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put my wife to work now too, yeah. so <laughs> and my kids. Come on guys, let's get this going. <laughs> oh man, the configurator for Ford is so stinking nice. Like Chrysler's is so dysfunctional. Like, come on, Chrysler. You need to take cues from Ford. Like look how easy and simple this thing looks. <laughs> Alrighty, so we just got the truck ordered. Um I might go with the specialty guys. I don't think I want to wait long, honestly, because this is going to probably be like 12 months, they said. Uh, it could be shorter than that. It just depends on how many trucks that they still have to deliver for 2022. But this is pretty exciting. Um, I'm going to basically own a Ford truck hopefully next year. I'm not going to keep this one. I, I, I'm probably going to do some videos probably explaining that. And we'll definitely have to look at a Chevy. I did go by one of the Chevy stores. One of the commitments I need from a store is they'll allow me to do videos. Like, I, you know, if I'm going to buy a truck from you, at the very least, let me do videos at your store. So I went to one of the other stores out here and they said no. Well, they didn't say no. They just said I have to jump through hoops, which means they don't want me to. So fine. I'll just go to another Chevy store. And if I can't get a Chevy, well, I can just go back to a GMC. I have two GMC stores I can go to to order my next you know gm i mean i don't have to get a chevy i just wanted to try the new refreshed chevy and maybe just maybe next year i'll probably buy you know two other trucks i don't know we'll see maybe ram at that time will have a new redesign and then we can look at that but this is pretty exciting stuff what do you think babe i'm excited yeah we had experience with the ford earlier this year and i really liked the way it drove the way the ride felt and i think i liked the interior a lot Really? That that didn't even have the bigger screen in it either. Had about well, the same size as this one. We'll see. Yeah, and I mean, if I can find a Chevy store, we might have a Chevy next year too. Yeah. I guarantee you, we'll get the Chevy within six months. I guarantee that. I, I think that it'll be here a lot faster than the Ford will. Yeah. And then when the Ford gets here, we'll be able to just do side by sides. Now I'm gonna pretty much order these trucks identical in terms of like the uh, trim package, I will say right now, I did not get a trimmer because GM doesn't have something comparable. At least Silverado doesn't have something comparable to that. And really the AT4 is not a good comparison with it either because it doesn't have the 35 inch tires and it's just a different truck. Mm -hmm. But as far as the Ford goes, I, I did do a Platinum. I got the Platinum because I built the Lariat. And as I told you guys, I built the Lariat and it was like $14,000 in options. When I built the Platinum, it was like 4000 So even though the Platinum is still more expensive, it's not by much. So a lot of stuff comes standard. And then I couldn't select certain options that I wanted on the Lariat um, as a standalone. So I was like, no, screw it. I'm just going to get the Platinum. So that's why I opted for that trim. I can't afford to limit it. If I'm going to buy two trucks, 
I have to, I can't go to the highest trim level. So unfortunately, that's why I did not go with the limited. But in the comment section, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully, hopefully the Ford doesn't take too long to get here. I would love for it to get here mid next year because if I could have it for at least six months and then if Ram does redesign, I would love to jump into a, another Ram. Alrighty, so it's been a few days uh, since I shot that footage. I actually was a while ago now. Uh, I was beginning of November and I have not found a Chevy truck. Unfortunately, I went to a couple stores already. I got to go to more this week. I did a live this past Sunday. And so I just wanted to get this video posted for you guys. But yeah, I basically ordered a Ford, which is so cool. But my goal is, is to get another one for the channel. I could keep my GMC, but this will have more miles on it. And I want the truck to be very close to mileage, all that stuff, because I really want to compare them. And I want the new interior too. So I really want to order something out. So hopefully, hopefully I can make that work out. And I really want to be one of the first YouTubers to say that I had all four of the pickups. And obviously GMC and Chevy are the same for the most part, but I would like to be a Chevy owner for next year. But if not, I can always get another GMC. I already have a dealership lined up. I have two actually lined up, so there's that. But hopefully I can get this done this week. That's my goal. My goal is to get something ordered on the GM side of the house, and then I can have both trucks ready to go. And yeah, I'm really excited to like go over the specs. I will go over them later. It's just not the right time to go over the specs because you guys get to know, hey, I got a Ford F-350 Platinum. Obviously, you know, the GM that I buy is gonna be 3,500. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go over the engine right now with you. You guys will probably be, I don't know, you may not be surprised. Some of you guys already know what I'm probably gonna do because I'm pretty obvious, but um, I won't go over that until probably the end of the year. I think end of the year, I'll go over the pricing, I'll go over the engine options, and then from there, we'll just give updates on the builds. But that's kind of what I'm waiting for. I'm hoping that Ford reaches out to me because they have not sent me an email yet saying that they um, accepted my build. So we'll see how everything shakes out. But I definitely want to do videos at any store that I order from. And I think it's a fair trade off because I'm building content. And obviously, wherever I do videos at, I know that people buy cars. When I was doing videos in Maryland at Criswell, I sent a couple people there to buy cars. Um, I also know of like probably eight or nine people that showed up at the dealership looking for me and they didn't know I didn't work there, but they actually still bought because of my videos. So Tate Chrysler, there's another place I did a lot of videos at. I've ordered all my cars from them just because when I worked as an affiliate, I wasn't allowed to buy outside of my market when I worked for them. So I had to buy cars from them. But and of course, I, I knew the guys, they were great guys, but at the end of the day, I know that what I do works for dealers, but they have to see the value. And in order for me to order a truck from them, that's part of it. So if you do work at a Chevy store, uh, let me know, reach out to me. I'm in the Salt Lake City area. I really wanna buy out here. So if you do know of a dealer, or if you work at one, reach out to me in the comment section. I'll try to check my comments as much as I can and I will order from you. And you're cool with me doing videos? Let's go, let's do it. But in closing, Exciting stuff happening next year. Perfect time to subscribe. And if you do want me to respond to you in the comment section, be sure that you have hit the subscribe button and that you turn on the bell notification. I cannot see anyone's comments who do not have the bell notification too. So if I'm not responding to you, that's why. So it's simple to do. I don't know why YouTube did it that way. It's called public subscribers. And that's the only way I can see comments now. And I'm not changing it. I'm stuck to that. So. I think it's fair. Um, a lot of people watch my channel, but don't subscribe. So I just have to do it this way now. I apologize to everyone that it might inconvenience, but thanks again for watching this video and I will see you guys soon.